Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel and those were the sounds of the Reverb plugin I developed myself using a web browser, the Web Audio API and some JavaScript. And in this video I'm going to show you how to do this yourself, how to modify it so it suits your needs and how to develop your own impulse responses, what impulse responses are actually and how to run all this stuff, for example, on the Raspberry Pi or on the PC stick or any uh, kind of device which can run a web browser, which are smartphones, Chromebooks and uh, I think everything on this planet. So without further ado, here we go. So what is convolution? Well, convolution is a mathematical process of combining the output of two formula into one. So that's exactly what happens here. You take a burst of noise, which creates a certain graph, and apply it to your audio signal, which also creates a certain graph over time. And then the combination of both is output via some algorithms to your speaker. So for example, you can take a program like Audacity, um, generate a burst of noise or a longer noise, and then apply some wave shading to it, for example, fade out or tremolo, and you can even uh, create a stereo uh, track of noise and apply different um, effects on each track. And then if you load this into the convolution reverb, this um, sound will be applied to your original signal. And um, so you can create, uh, yeah, ramping in reverbs of really large reverbs with stereo effects or delay effects. For example, the finger snipping in the beginning of the video will result in this. Here's a short overview over my app. Well, there's a selector for your audio input, which will list all the audio inputs connected to the computer currently. Then you've got a MIDI input selector, because you can connect the sustain pedal to a computer to turn on the reverb and turn it off again. And then there's a file upload for uploading your impulse responses. And if you don't have one, there's also a selector for selecting one of my presets. And if you want to, you can hit that record button and um, yeah, record your own impulse response on the fly, which is kind of fun. Okay, I'll show you some of my source code so you can see this is really easy to implement yourself. Um, on the web page, just right click and then go to show source and the browser will show you yeah, what I programmed here. And yeah, it's basically some HTML file stuff um, for the user interface here, select boxes, sliders and so on and so on. I've included some libraries so my own code uh, gets shorter. And uh, yeah, then we've got uh, the JavaScript part here. There are some variables to store all our elements, for example, the reverb, the filters, and so on. And yeah, stuff for initializing the user interface. And um, yeah, we've got um, the part where the MIDI listeners are enabled, so you can press the sustain button, uh, sustain pedal to activate the reverb and disable it once again. And um, I think the important part is um, this function here, which is called handle success. Uh, this will get triggered uh, once your audio hardware signals is ready to capture audio. So what happens here is we create a media recorder, um, which will capture 
the incoming sound and we also create a processor which will do things with your sound and um, yeah here you can see we create a reverb a convolver node and we also create some filters a high pass and a low pass filter and then we create two amplifiers which are called gain nodes uh, one for the dry signal and one for the yeah for the reverb signal and uh, here we connect all these things so we connect the source to the first amplifier and also connect the amplifier directly to the output and also we connect the source to the filter the second filter the reverb and um, the amplifier so now you have two audio paths that you can adjust as a user it's really not that um, complicated you can have a look at the source code yourself by the way, my pal Xavier Radex has a great video on his channel which goes much more in-depth on this type of reverb. I link the video here maybe, uh, but uh, I'll also link it in the video's description. And by the way, as we're talking about Xavier, here we are with a short demo of this reverb. And um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this and found this interesting. And if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.